Hurricane Ernesto is barreling through the Atlantic Ocean this morning, where forecasters say it could become a major hurricane in the coming days. Jared Hill has the latest. Hurricane Ernesto is now off the shores of Puerto Rico, but the storm has left behind quite a mess. Drone footage shows water covering nearly everything in the town of Toa Baja after the La Plata River overflowed. At one point, the storm, which hit Puerto Rico as a Category 1 hurricane, knocked out power to more than 700,000 people. That's about half of all power customers on the island. Luma Energy, the Commonwealth's main utility, says Puerto Rico is better equipped to handle the aftermath than it was during Hurricane Maria, which devastated the island seven years ago. In coastal communities, cleanup is just beginning, with the storm knocking down trees and leaving neighborhoods underwater. The government today is much better prepared. We are in touch with all agencies. We have the support throughout. We have trained employees. We have the support from FEMA. The U.S. Forest Service has announced that El Yunque National Forest will remain closed to the public until it's safe to visit. In Manati, first responders hoisted a 62-year-old woman and her husband to safety. St. John and St. Croix are also experiencing island-wide blackouts. We've been through these types of uh, storms before. Um, and we always come out as we are resilient people. As Ernesto makes its way north through the Atlantic Ocean, forecasters say it could bring nearly eight foot waves to the northeast. The Carolinas, still recovering from tropical storm Debbie, could begin to see coastal effects from the storm as early as today. Jared Hill, CBS News.